Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Kevin, this is ESL Success, and today we're going to be looking at the past perfect. The past perfect. It's like the present perfect, but, as the name implies, in the past. So if you haven't seen the present perfect yet, check out this video I've done before. And if today is your first time coming to this channel, check out my other videos. I've done phrasal verbs, I've done other tenses, and I've done lots of questions and answers so you can practice. The past perfect, what is it? Well, obviously we're talking in the past. And it's also a perfect tense. We've seen that the present perfect uses the past participle. So obviously the past perfect is also going to use the past participles. So remember, ran, wanted, eaten, gone, done. All of these are some past participles that are very common. So when do we use the past perfect? Well, the past perfect we use when we're talking about an event that happened before another event in the past. So let's look at it this way. Here is the past event. I arrived at the train station. And here is when the train left. How can I tell you that this happened before this? One way to do it is in the past perfect. I can say, the train had left before I arrived at the station. The event that happened farther in the past is the, is the event that we use in the past perfect. The other event we use in just simple past. Another example, I did my homework. Good job. But before that, I watched TV. How can I use the past perfect for this? Before I did my homework, I had watched TV. I had watched TV before I did my homework. For all of these, we can use the past perfect. It's very similar to the present perfect, only we're talking in the past. And usually, we're going to have two different events. So the grammar for the past perfect is the subject plus had because it's the past, and then our past participle. I had done my homework when you arrived. I had finished my homework when you arrived. In negative, we use the subject, plus had, and then not, and then our past participle. I had not finished the homework when you arrived. The train had not left before I arrived at the train station. It's also very common to use contractions when we're talking in the past perfect, using hadn't. The movie hadn't started before I bought my popcorn. For an interrogative question, a yes-no question, all we do is reverse the had and the subject. Had you gone to bed before I called? Had you turned off the TV before you went to bed? For information questions, we use our information word, had, our subject, and our past participle. Where had you lived? before you lived in Mexico. So there's your past perfect. It wasn't that hard. If you understood the present perfect, you can understand the past perfect. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and give it a like. For ESL Success, I'm Kevin. I'll see you guys next time.